Um, we always get this question here, simulation times are taking too long. Uh, so we have a few tips here. Um, the first one here, unchecked detailed HLM GF, GeoFactor, uh, just a quick abbreviation that we've used here. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you where that option is and talk to you a little bit about it in the software. <clears throat> if we go to our DCS preferences, uh, we have it right in the general tab. We have a detailed uh, HLM GeoFactor button. So we can easily turn that on or off. If I hover over it, it does give us a little description. So with this on, what it's going to do, it's going, going to consider each mesh point independently during the sensitivity. So if, if you have some really dense mesh uh, with this on, it will be the model will be scanning every single mesh point. Um, so we definitely recommend turning that off if simulation speed is definitely hindering you. <clears throat> By default, it is off. Uh, so it is something that you may have never even turned on. Uh, but again, we just wanted to point that out and help you save some time on running some simulations. Um, and again, minimizing mesh on the feature measures. The feature measures, uh, we can use this min segment, which controls the mesh density. Um, a larger number will create finer mesh. So in this case, the more fine the mesh, the more computation time you're going to have. Um, so again, it's another tip just to get your simulation time a little bit shorter. Um, the, the next part of it here is to limit iteration and conditional logic. Uh, this model actually doesn't have any of the iteration and conditional logic. Um, but as you can imagine, if you're putting in conditional logic, if um, you're moving the skin and it hits a certain part, if it, you're having logic to move the skin until it hits a surface, again, that's added computation time. Uh, we understand that at some times you do have to have some of those, um, but if you can possibly limit the amounts of those. Quick question on the HLM GeoFactor, uh, the detailed HLM GeoFactor. If you turn that off, now using feature measures, how does that affect the accuracy of your model? You know, because the feature measure in that case is going to be non-linear, um, it could make it more accurate or less accurate. You know, you're in a situation where, you know, um, you're trying, you, the, the high-low mean is trying to treat each of those feature nodes as a separate contributor, but the feature measure is trying to find that minimum gap so the tolerances are interacting. Um, so both cases are going to give you an indication of where, of what it is. Um, but it's really, it's like trying to take a 3D universe and flatten it into a 2D perspective, you know, depending on which direction you flatten or with uh, that 3D universe into a 2D plane, you know, you're going to lose something. You're going to lose a dimension. Is this something that um, simulation-based sensitivity is addressing? It is indeed. All right, so um, <laughs> we actually are building a tool which is coming out very soon, and we'll be doing our next webinar on it called Simulation-Based Sensitivity, which will help address um, some of these feature measures and some of the issues with, uh, with 3D versus 2D interaction. <clears throat> So just jumping back here, um, again, limit the iterations and conditional logic. Uh, the last one here is called model washing. It actually removes points and MTMs not used in the model. Uh, before doing this step, we definitely recommend that you save your model, <clears throat> just due to the fact that uh, we don't want you to lose your uh, precious work. So under update model, 
we have a delete unused information icon. I'm going to go ahead and click this. Uh, we have a small dialog box here. It's asking us again to select a part or assembly in the tree. Deleting will start upon tree selection. So we can, we have a couple options here. We can delete all unused geometry, which we refer to as washing. We can delete unused points and features, and we can delete duplicate CAD entities. I'm going to go ahead and do this washing function and click on my top level. And so what it's done here, it, get, it provides a list of everything's, everything that is actually washed. So these are all the surfaces that have been washed, all the points that have been washed. Um, these could be, if you're moving around points, you know, you made a few extra points in your move on accident, but you never went through and deleted them. A few extra points uh, for a tolerance, uh, but you're not using it in a move or measure. So now what we've actually done is just cleared it out. So by washing your model, it has um, created less information in the model. And again, we definitely recommend save before doing something like that.